hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Adidi makeovers if you're a returning subscriber welcome if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe um and um join the family we drop videos here every other week so without further ado let's get started so at first i cleaned her face and um, i'm using the ponds um oil control cream on her brows just to avoid sweaty brows or oily brows later so this keeps her brows mattified and um yeah so moving on i'm using the brow pencil from davies number 18 i'll be outlining her brows as usual i'm using the vicabel brushes they are mascara wand i don't really think i remember the names but i'm going to be showing you the name of my product like i'm showing you the product and if you watch this video to where i'm going to be doing the eye makeup you'll be i'll be unboxing the new um lydia stanley zikel cosmetics eyeshadow so guys you just stay tuned and um yeah so guys i'm just um as you can see now i'm just using the brow tint from um beauty line by didi i'll be using this to um make sure her brows is lighter and also filling in the spas area on her brows though her brows are very full and um yeah move, i'll be using the ferrarucci concealer uh, the shade i just showed you guys now the lighter shade will be on her brow bow area and um the darker shade will be on the inner part of her brows just to make my nose contour easier So as you can see, I'm just using this my blending brush to blend out the concealer, the inner and the outer part of that. I'll be using my Benai concealer, my Benai eye primer, um, the Clown White eye primer. Sorry, I'll be applying that all over her crease, and I'll be using a smaller, um, fluffy brush, like a full dense brush to blend out the eyelids so i want to make sure i'm not doing a cut crease nothing dramatic um she's a bride i have to do something at least um i just want it to be well blended so i'm blending the eye primer just to make my eyeshadow pop and also make it last longer so the next thing we'll be doing now i'll be unboxing my new lydia stanley Ezekiel eyeshadow palette um, I've had so many stories about this palette I've watched videos about this eyeshadow palette so as you can see I'll be using this eyeshadow for today's makeup look and um, yeah the eyeshadow is packed with so many transition shades so many contour shades that like the shades we use in Nigeria here so um yeah this eyeshadow is just going to be like my best friend from now on you know the way i love makeup products like i love playing with colors and um yeah i just love the eyeshadow after using it the day i was doing this makeup i was like very impressed i'm just super impressed i love this eyeshadow so much so pigmented super super easy to blend and um, you'll just see what the golden shade is going to do now. Just keep watching, guys. And um, yeah. Guys, just keep watching how this um, pigment the way the eyeshadow is so pigmented like this is the like the third 
dipping i'm going to be dipping now like the third deep yeah right yeah can you see how pigmented the eyeshadow looks so i'm just going in with a little bit of that burnt orange shade to blend in my contour and uh, the transitioning with the main eyeshadow can you see that see how beautiful the eyeshadow is looking so yeah lydia stanley we are super impressed Mm, so the other eyes is done i just i'm just applying powder on the highlights so going in with my white glam cosmetics um pigments i'll be using the shade tealish and um, disco ball i'll be mixing the two together making a mocktail and um, dipping my brush on my wet wipes and i'll be using that on her crease i don't like using the glue but i don't think um to me personally i don't like using glue what i do now is i just dip my wipes in a very um wet in a on my wet wipes the the brush sorry i'll dip it on the wet wipes just to so, uh, make sure the brush is a bit damp and then i'll just go over go into my eye um, pigment and then place that on the lids so using the new zaron mascara this double wink mascara two in one mask mascara is it four in one four in one yeah i'll be using that applying that on her lashes and then i'll go into my um wing eyelashes nigeria i'll be using that eyelashes on her the very short one i think this is in snow snowball or yeah i don't really remember the name of the lashes but it's from wing and um, after I'm done with the eyes, I'm going to be cleaning her face. I wouldn't go near where I blended out the concealer. I'm just cleaning her face. The pigment fallouts, the eyeshadow fallouts. Though this eyeshadow is very okay, it doesn't fall out like that. And um, yeah, so going in with my, cons my moisturizer in the Cetaphil moisturizer and my Stay Matte primer. I'll be using the Zikel foundation in Sexy Almond and Golden Caramel just to balance her tone so before i go in with my foundation i'm going to be doing her upper brows i'll be cleaning out the upper brows using the same concealer shade i used on the, her brows but i mixed the two together to tone down i used the darker one more just to tone down the highlighter the highlighter shade of her skin so the highlighted shade of the concealer rather so i'll be cleaning the upper part of her brows and then using my clean beauty blender i just mix the foundation the sexy almond and um, the golden caramel i'll be mixing that all together and um, yeah i'll be applying that all over her face um, and then um, you have to know that you have to be minimal with the way you apply your foundation you don't want that to be too much or it's going to be cakey and it's all going to be it will crease up and you don't want to see the um <laughs> you don't want to see the results of too much foundation on the face so yeah So I'll be going in with my House of Tara concealer in number 04. I'll be applying that all over on her highlights, like under her eyes, the bridge of her nose, her forehead, on her chin, and also on her cupid bow. 
we want the high points of her face to be more highlighted so yeah we want to achieve a heart shaped face yeah that's just it and then i'll be blending the outer part of the concealer first my highlight first like the outer part i'll allow the inner part of the concealer to settle a little bit then i'll go in to blend that too but i'll be moving on to the chin the forehead and also the bridge of the nose then i'll later come back on and um, blend the inner part of the under eye I want that to settle a bit before we blend that out So after I'm done with the blending of my highlight, I'm going to be using a powder, the Zikel, um powder palette. I'll be using this translucent shade and a bit a shade lighter than her skin tone. I'll be setting under her eyes where I already highlighted. I'll be setting that before I go in with my Espon setting powder. I'll be doing this first, then I'll use my Espon setting powder to just um set under her highlights to just set her highlights rather so normally what i do i do a powder contour i'll be contouring her cheeks and um, the hollow of her cheeks I'll be using a darker shade, can you see? I'm using a darker shade from this Zikel powder palette. I'll be contouring her cheeks, the side of her nose, the temples of her face. I'll just use a darker shade of powder on that and then go in with her normal shade of powder just to set the whole part of her face. So I forgot to show you the part where, I'm, I don't think I recorded the part where I was showing the eyeshadow, the, part, the setting powder it's the s1 setting powder i'll be using this um to set her highlights and then we move on to set the whole face with the her shade of powder So after I'm done setting her whole face, I'll be going in with my Get Gorgeous uh, the Get Gorgeous Technique Bronzer. I'll be applying that on her Cupid bow because I want to do the lips first. And then doing the lips, I'll be using a random brow gel. Before I go in with the brow gel, I'm going to be using the Benai Brow Prime, the Benai Eye Primer. I'll be using that as a base for my lips. You want your nude. What I realize that whenever I want my nude lips to show very well, I use um, the Benai Clown Whites. I use a primer, an eyeshadow primer. 
I'll just use that all over her lips, not all over her lips, the inner part of her lips as a base because when I apply my lip shade, the nude comes out very well, especially if you're using a darker nude color, you want it to pop. So that is how I feel. I don't know about you if you're going to enjoy this, but I just realized this looks good and then I've been doing it ever since I knew that. So I'll, I'm just using the brow gel my random cheap brow gel i'm just using it to line the outer part of her lips then i'll go in with my house of tara the zaron nude lip max sheen shade So this is the Zaron Maxine shade. I'll be using the shade in Sandy and also the House of Tara in Helena Jai. The House of Tara lip gloss in Helena Jai. So I'll be applying the Sandy, the Zaron Matte lip stain first. I'll be applying that all over her lips. You know I already applied a brown lip shade, a, a brown brow gel. I'll be using this to cover that up so the darker shade doesn't come out well. After that, I'm going to be going in with the House of Tara lip gloss in Helena Jai. I'll just be using that all over her lips and then yeah. lips i'll be going in with the girls night out blush all-time favorite blush i'll be applying a peachy shade on her cheeks and i'm um, adding color to the whole look I'm done with the blush I'll be taking off the highlighter like the setting powder and setting the whole face with her shade of powder who likes this eyeshadow man though I had to top it up with the um with my pigments but sure the eyeshadow is so pigmented so yeah, I'm just blending out the setting powder taking that off and at the same time going over the setting powder we move on to setting the whole face with my setting spray. Thank you. 
so going in with my gag technique um gag gorgeous technique bronzer i'll be applying that all over her cheekbones the high point of her face i want her to glow you know as a bride you want the, the bride to glow that's just what makes the bride stand out guys actually i think i have something coming up this is my setting spray i made this setting spray all from the scratch i don't know if i should start producing it it's still going on a test run from me so yeah this is my setting spray my glow setting spray and um, i'll be going in with my zaron um wing mascara the the other part of the mascara i'll be using that to do the lower part of her lashes so guys this is the finished look she's going to go change now and if you enjoyed this look if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're a new subs if you're new here and you're joining us for the first time please subscribe we have videos up here every week and then boom this is the final look guys hope you guys love this she's so beautiful and um yeah guys this is it for today i'll i'll, I'll be dropping a tutorial of how i tied this simple simple gilly um bridal gilly so if you guys are interested watch out in the next two days i'll be dropping that and um yeah Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to comment. This is Hadidi Makeovers once again. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.